that diversity is important um, in economics and related fields specifically. Yes, oh man, I mean, it's economics is everywhere in terms of this concept of power and distribution. And when we look at how that affects black and brown communities and the lack of power that is within those communities, it's really frustrating. And so this concept, Black Women Best, is what the Sadie Collective centers and is about. And the idea is that if we center the economy around Black women, then it will actually work better for everyone else. And the question that is posed about this um, is, well, when was, the, when was the economy ever working for Black women, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so that is a term, Black Women Best is a term that's coined by the current Department of Labor Chief Economist, Janelle. Where'd she go to school? Where'd she go to Spelman? We love to see that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Janelle is fantastic. And it's so great to see her as the first Black woman in that position. And also Dr. Cecilia Rouse, who is currently the first Black woman on the center, um, the council rather, for, um, for economics. Um, Council of Economic Advisors, she highlighted in an interview recently how important it is for data to be disaggregated and consider race and gender. So when she was asked about how are you going to measure success of policies, she responded with, it depends on what we're seeing on a disaggregated basis. And this is really, really great to see like these women in these positions and talking about looking at the economy from a lens where it wasn't looked at before. And so initially we've been doing a lot of work around the unemployment rate, the aggregate unemployment rate and, and not considering the fact that the disaggregated unemployment rate shows that Black women aren't doing well in the economy as are other racial groups. And there's a huge opportunity there. And I'm really excited to see that institutions that are incredibly powerful now have these Black women in particular in these positions who can then ask these critical questions so that the many Black women and Latinx and Indigenous women who are being identified as essential workers right now and who are the engine of the economy are honored and that we see better opportunities for them in terms of paid sick leave or unionized jobs.